Uh, companion cards are cards of the same value and the same color. So those are companion cards, those are companion cards, and these are companion cards, okay? So I'm just going to, I just showed you that there's a partner for each one. That's really all I've done. Okay, now you'll recognize some of the steps here. Okay, I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to perform a, a Klondike shuffle to mix it further. And now what we're going to try to do if we can is we're going to do some left-right dealing. And the object of this game, and I call it the Max Maven game, is to left-right deal these cards and be so lucky as to bring two cards of the same kind, the companion cards, up to the top. Okay, well those are not companion cards. So that would be a fail. So I failed. And you can randomly stack those or have the spectator decide how to stack those. Okay, let's see how we do here. Did we find the companion? No, we did not. Okay, now it ends up that because these are mirrored piles that I'm dealing out, and this is a principle we'll talk, we'll look at in, in detail throughout this series, these top cards, in fact, can never match. They will never match because of the structure of the packet. So you can deal those off left, right, and then bring, look, reveal the top cards and they'll never match. So what you do is you deal it off, you know, once you've convinced the spectator that, oh man, these things are never going to match, you deal them one more time. And so you say, well, choose either card on, the, either top card. So for either pile, choose the top card. So maybe they choose this one, okay? So we set it right there. In fact, you could set it face down if you like, or face up. I guess in some ways it doesn't really matter. And now what you need to do as the performer is you take the, the larger of the two piles and you just casually drop it on top, okay? And pick up all the cards along the way. And now we're going to play this game of she loves me, she loves me not, okay? So she loves me, she loves me not. I'll just toss that to the side. She loves me, she loves me not. Maybe I won't toss it to the side because we can point out something here. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Ooh, how, how did we do? We found the companion card. Okay, so that is Max Maven's um, kind of basic routine. You're trying to get those top cards to match after a left-right deal. And then you have the spectator choose either one of the top cards. And then you kind of stack those two piles and perform that under-down deal. And the lone survivor for the under-down deal will always, always, always be the companion card to the one that was freely chosen by the spectator at the beginning, okay? Now, I point out something here, and, and so this will enable you to read the diagram um, now instead of having to wait until the hidden structures course. But if you come over here, and I may have to actually state it because it's, it's kind of hard to read down here. Oh, in fact, it's over here. Um, okay, so I have A and P four cards plus one revealed pair. That's R pair. So if you remember, I had a revealed pair, these two, and what I'm telling you here is that this is an AMP. It will always be an AMP at the end of this routine. Always, always. Well, let's confirm that. Is that an AMP relative to value and color? It is indeed. Companion cards, companion cards. Well, what does that allow you to do if you know that this is an AMP? Well, if you just take these two cards, drop them on top, do we not have an AMP at this point? We do indeed. How can we go from here to there? 
Well, we just perform an LR shuffle. Okay, so it's cyclic now. It's a two cycle. What was one of the ways we got it to be mirrored? Well, a 50% coating always works. Okay, and then once it's here, this is where the packet needs to be before beginning a Max Maven routine. It needs to be mirrored. So the cards uh, that are of the same category need to be on opposite ends as you come in. And so from this point, dealing these cards left, right, left, right, it gives us something called mirrored piles. Mirrored piles. What's a mirrored pile? A mirrored pile is that the top card here will be related to the bottom card there. Okay? And the second card there is related to the second card from the bottom, which happens to be also the second from the top because there's three in each. So these are mirrored piles. Well, it ends up that when you have mirrored piles performing a left, right, left, right, left, right shuffle, these two cards at the top will never, ever match. They'll never be of the same category that you've set up for those cards. Okay? Um, so you would go through and do multiple LRs and show that, oh, we failed. We weren't able to get companion cards. And then when you're done, to enable a win, as Max Maven describes it, you just deal out left, right once again allow the spectator to choose either card. This time we can have it face down if you would like. And in the case of this five card, um, and in this case where we have five cards, the larger of the two is set on top and we perform our under down deal. She loves me, she loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, she does. And so this should be the companion card for that one. Okay, and as you notice, it's almost like reset the whole thing because guess what? This is an AMP, and when you put those on top, you're back to a structure type that you know what to do with it and where you can take it and you'll know where you've arrived after certain shuffles have been performed.